Number one is drinking molten gold. Potentially practiced more often than documented, it was practiced on both sides of the Atlantic Ocean by the Romans and the Spanish Inquisition. The technique is self-explanatory. The victim was tied up and forced to open his mouth so that molten gold would be poured down his esophagus. This is exactly what happened in 1599 to a Spanish governor in early colonial Ecuador. Local Indians from the Javaro tribe were unfairly taxed for trading gold. Because of this, they attacked the settlement of Logrono and executed the greedy governor by pouring molten gold down his throat. Number two is the destructive wheel. Like the previous one, this method served as a form of torture and was also an execution. The convict was taken to a public stage and tied to the floor. The wheel in question was a large wooden wheel with spokes, usually the same as those used on carriages. The wheel was used to mutilate the victim when it was lowered onto his or her body. They usually started with breaking the bones of the lower leg and then moved onto the arms. They even placed wooden planks with sharp edges under the joints which made the whole experience worse. Then the body was braided onto another wooden spoke, which was made possible by the fact that you had recently become a human noodle. After that the executioner could proceed to the final part of the holiday. If you thought that was the end, you don't really believe in human cruelty. Sometimes they didn't even bother and just threw the medieval autobot into the fire. Sometimes they put them on knitting needles and lifted them into the air, where they decomposed and birds pecked at them. But there is still hope for you, 19th century brats. Number three, mock execution. I saved this last death for lost because it is the subject of nightmares. There were many uprisings and rebellions in medieval Europe, one of which was led by Georgi Dodger of Transylvania. In the early 1500s, Dodger led a peasant uprising against the nobility of the Kingdom of Hungary. He and his soldiers fought as well as a bunch of exhausted peasants could fight against an organised army. In the end, Dodger was captured and his execution was staged to mock his ambition. Dose was seated on a red hot iron throne and forced to wear a smouldering crown. He then witnessed the execution of his own brother. Moreover, while Dozo was still alive, his body was later used as food for other prisoners of war. Yes, good luck with your dreams tonight. It is said that Georgi Dozo inspired many other peasant uprisings and even inspired the creation of a statue representing him. Number four is Spanish Tickle. I promise I'm not joking with these names. This method of execution is not as fun as it may seem. This horrific device was used in most European countries in the Middle Ages. It is a very simple tool that was used to tear the victim's skin. Due to its shape, it spared neither bones nor muscles. The victim was often stripped naked and tied up, which made him completely defenseless. The executioners then began, sometimes in public, to mutilate the victim. They often started with the limbs and slowly moved on to the chest, back, neck and finally the face. 